Holy, he's almost in range. He's 90 yards out right there, guys. Come on. He's still coming. He's still coming. Oh, my God. He's 70 yards out. He's in range. He's in range. Holy, I'm freaking out right now. With the release of Australia coming out pretty soon for Call of the Wild, I thought we'd get used to it and get ready for the new map to drop. We're heading out here in the Hunter Classic today, and we're going to be hunting for the Bantang. Well, it's not exactly what I was planning on finding first, but we got ourselves a decent Rusa deer out here, and he is right there. About 180 yards out. I think we can use the 6.5. So let's see if we can't get a shot. All right, that shot's going to be a little bit high. But it may have dropped in there and got something decent. Just may have. But that is some really good blood. And we did, in fact, get some drop. We definitely did. Because that is a lung and heart shot. Very, very nice shot. Wow. I'm pretty pumped about that, to be honest. I thought we were a little bit too high. But in reality, we were almost perfect. Wow, this thing's bleeding really good. And I believe he's actually piled up right here. There's something laying there. Yep, that's him. We found him. Boy, he didn't go 50 yards and piled right up. Ended up getting a nice right lung shot at 180 yards out. And a 113.5. Nice size one, too. First deer of the hunt. That's actually kind of a cool picture just like that. It's a little bit dark out right now, as you can see, because it's still quite a bit early, but... That'll work, nonetheless. Wow, we just snuck up on a feral hog, and he's right there. I do believe it's actually a female, but... We happen to have the 10 millimeter on us. So we're going to try... Tried for a headshot, did not get it. But that should take it down. And it's piled up right here. So yeah, one or two of those shots did connect. First shot got skull. Must have just missed the brain. Then we did get a left front leg shot. So two shots with a 10 millimeter, two basically non-vital shots brought down this hog. That's pretty cool. Whoa, what do we got right there? A female water buffalo. It almost looked like a bang tang at first, but it is not. And it's a kind of small female water buffalo. And I just realized that we have nothing to take that down with. We have the AR-223, we have the 6.5, and 10 millimeter. That's all we have. Boy, we sure picked one heck of a great day to not bring a bow or any permitted rifle to be able to hunt for the water buffalo. Look at the size of that freaking water buffalo. Oh my god, 180 to 260. So that could potentially be like a 240 plus. It is absolutely massive. And maybe definitely the biggest water buffalo that we've seen by far in the last three years. But yeah, we have nothing to take him down with. So now all we can do is watch. And wait. Holy. Look at all of them. Oh my god. They're freaking everywhere. Okay, that's the big one. 180 to 260. But then we just spotted this thing. What is the estimate on that? That is unbelievably big. Like, this one's pretty decent. But the one that we just spotted, it's scary big. Holy. Give me an estimate, please. What are you? Holy 210 to 290. That thing might be like a 270 plus. Oh my god, is that giant. Another big one over there. Oh my god, there's so many here. All right, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to draw an area of where these buffalo are located. 
And we'll have to come back. Because this is unbelievable. Alright. Nonetheless, we gotta get moving. We got a lot of stuff to do and we gotta try and find that massive water buffalo. There's a whole herd of them. Oh, we can't jump. <laughs> I tried to jump because we were playing Call of the Wild, but I realized that we can't jump anymore. Nonetheless, let's get this thing loaded up and go try and find those. Because, wow, are they impressive. Now, there's a chance that we actually may be able to cut them off as they cross this river. If they do that, we'll be sitting pretty good. All right, so we got about 500 yards to go, and basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down from this opposite side here, and we'll try and cut them off, because I believe they should either cross here or here. And we spotted them right here. Nonetheless, it's looking like we got a pretty good setup going here for us. And even if we don't see them crossing the river, we should be able to spot them on the other side. Well, I was right, guys. We got here just in the nick of time. We already got eyes on a water buffalo crossing right in front of us here. It's not a very big one, but it's actually a female, as a matter of fact. So if she's over there, those bulls shouldn't be too far away. I doubt they would have crossed already, but there's a chance they may have. So one of these should be the track that we're looking for. Oh boy, track's going that way. Unfortunately, I can't identify these tracks. I feel like that's gotta be him. One of these has to be him for sure. Oh my God, you guys, we found him. Holy, there he is. Unbelievable, we came right out to that spot where we last saw him. And I couldn't find any more tracks. Basically, we went over to this point, and sure enough, there he is right out there, right across this river. I would imagine he's probably going to follow this one over here. So we'll just kind of keep an eye on him. Ooh, we got a, looks like maybe a piebald feral hog over there. But yeah, there he is right there. Boy, he's right out in the wide open, though. I don't know if we're going to be able to get close enough to him for a shot. At least not with the bow. Although I'd absolutely love to be able to do that. Looks like a sandbar deer potentially over there crossing the river. But yeah, so he's out there. That is in fact... Is that a piebald or what would you call that? It's a spotted pig for sure. I would say that that's probably a rare piebald. Maybe it's like a new variant of the piebald. All right, so the buffalo are crossing right here in front of us. But our massive one is just sitting out there. About 150 yards out from us. Oh, he's making his way across. Oh my God, here we go. We got to pick up the pace. Come on, come on, come on, come on. So the good thing is it's raining and we're also in a little bit of cover as well. So as we're easing our way over there, he shouldn't really be able to pick up on any movement. Whoa, what was that? Bantang. Male. Finally, we got a male Bantang calling down here. It's about time. Holy, I thought that was a water buffalo trying to attack us, but it was actually the thunder. And there are the Bantang right there. Look at them all. Oh, that's a nice Bantang. Big bull. Not going to give me a spotting though, huh? Another one there as well. Not quite as big. But that's where our buffalo crossed right there. 150 to 235. Uh, that's a nice size buffalo as well. Let's keep an eye on this one. Oh, there he is right there. 150 yards away from us. He's being a tricky one. Oh, there we go. There's our big bantang. That should be a big bull. Well, it's a male. Can't tell how big it is, but definitely a male. And then this one here is a male as well. You can clearly see just by the size of the mass on the body, this thing is way bigger. And he's definitely the biggest bull. And 
there's our water buffalo stop there. It looks like there's another Bantan coming in from behind. Or maybe that's a Rusa. That may be a Rusa deer over there. All right, the question is, there's that piebald. Okay, hold up, there's a couple of piebalds out there. So in this case here, I'm not really sure if it's a rare. Oh, it's a male too. That's officially a piebald there. And there's our giant water buffalo. But if he's gonna keep on crossing, I would love to try and take him with the bow as he crosses this river right here. That appears to be a sandbar, a female sandbar. Oh, another bull bantang out there. Yeah, I believe he should keep on coming across. What a cool looking piebald though. Nice male. I mean, in this case here, I'm not exactly sure what we should do to be quite honest. Something's crossing right there. Another, that's that same water buffalo, isn't it? Yep, that's him. So our big buffalo is over there. Oh, it kind of seemed like he wanted to come this direction. And now he's turning back around. Oh, hold on, hold on. He might be coming back. You know, if he gets about 10 yards closer, he'll be borderline in range. We can take up to an 80 yard shot all day long on this buffalo. And it kind of seems like he wants to cross. Oh my God, here we go. Here we go guys, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, this is awesome. This is awesome. Oh, he stopped. Are they gonna fight? Oh, wait. Holy, he's almost in range. He's 90 yards out right there, guys. Come on, he's still coming, he's still coming. Come on, pick up the pace, pick up the pace. And there he is, right there. Whoo, whoo. He's so big. Oh my God. He's almost in range. He is almost in range. The only thing is I'm not exactly sure which way the wind is blowing right now. We don't have any wind indicator on us. Oh my God, he's 70 yards out. He's in range. He's in range. Holy, I'm freaking out right now. shot what an absolutely beautiful shot holy look at that shot placement it was so good that he couldn't even react to it it's literally right in the front shoulder and that should be long oh it looks like the wind pushed it a little bit forward just a little bit and i'm talking like the tiniest bit right there holy he's 90 yards out I think the wind pushed it just a touch to the left and we got him right in the front shoulder we got to put a follow-up into him guys he's 88 yards right there we know the wind is pushing a little bit left There he is right there. He's about 90 yards out from us, guys. There he is, he's crossing the river, crossing the river. That's gotta be him. We gotta make sure it's him. It's him, it's him, it's him. All right, how far is that? How far is that? 
It says 30. There's no way. Is he really 30 yards? I can't tell how far he is, guys. We can't risk taking that shot right now. Oh, he's so close to us. Dude, he's so close to us. Come on, tell me that connected. It looked perfect. He was quartering at us as he was charging us. Oh, those shots are so perfect. I just don't quite understand how we didn't get him. Holy. Well, I guess we need another shot into him. It's not called the wild, so you know what? Apparently, we're just going to let him fly. Oh, now we got him hit three times. I was hoping to get intestine in there, but... I honestly don't think we got one single vital hit into this thing. <sighs> Holy, those shots. It will take him down. It's just a little bit of a rip, the fact that we did not penetrate through and get a vital hit. Just a little bit of a rip. Because that first shot was absolutely money. But I have yet to find any blood. There is no way. How is there no blood? I mean, it's the only track over here. That's got to be him. Oh my god, no way, no way, no way. We're looking over here trying to find some blood and all of a sudden I looked over this ridge and saw a tracer sticking up. He's down, you guys. One of the biggest water buffaloes on the Hunter Classic that I've ever seen. An albino. An albino! Oh my god, an albino! Oh my god, no freaking way! An albino water buffalo! I've never seen one! And we smoked him! We smoked him! We got a lung hit! Holy crap! Holy crap! We got a lung hit on a rare albino water buffalo. And I've never seen one of those before. As we're coming over here to approach our massive water buffalo that we just took down with the camo pulsar. <sighs> What's weird about this massive thing here is these shots were so good, but we just didn't quite penetrate through and get a vital hit. I mean, look at the size of this thing. He's honestly the biggest water buffalo I've ever seen in the Hunter Classic, honestly. And the fact that we took him down with a bow makes it just that much cooler. Holy. I'm trying to get a better picture of this thing, but that's actually not bad there. Of course, we'll get a sweet picture when we pick him up, which we're going to pick him up right now. We did connect, baby! Our second shot, we got him. We did get a left lung shot. It's gonna be a 267 massive water buffalo. So here's our first shot. Let's take a look at our first shot. 66 yards out, got him in the body. It's tough to tell, but I honestly would say that we hit that thing right there. So we maybe shot just a little bit high of the lung. And I bet if we dropped a tad bit lower, I was holding for 70 and he was 66. We were holding for right here and I bet we hit right there, which made it look like an epic shot. But then we did in fact make a nice running shot there, 11 yards and did get a left lung. What's odd though is there was no blood at all. He weighed 1,137 pounds. And then we put a follow up as well and got a hind quarter hit, which might've even gotten intestine to be honest, but 267.4. It's been so long since I've seen a um, water buffalo this big that I, I don't remember, you know, what the uh, what the score is like for these things. So all I know is he is one incredible buffalo. 
And we put a lot of work and effort into this thing. We really did. So we're going to take just a, an incredible picture of this thing. I'm literally zoomed out all the way. Like that's as far zoomed out as I can possibly get. And it still looks massive. Absolutely massive. I'm so happy that our follow-up shot definitely connected on this thing and we did in fact get a lung hit but here let's take a look at this all right so that shot there was just a little bit high and I mean barely two inches lower we would have been perfect it would have been an excellent lung hit because then even right here this shot is even higher and that shot actually did in fact get lung as it was charging us right came in and got kind of the opposite side of lung over here and then we did hit it one more time, kind of high in the spine, back over there. But wow, what a tough big old buffalo. Holy. As I was saying before, he's so big that I can't hardly get him in the picture. I mean, it's just... It is one impressive buffalo. Alright, let's go with that. I'd have to say that that's one of the biggest, toughest buffaloes. I'd honestly have to say that that's one of the... And I'd honestly have to say that... And I'd honestly have to say that that's one of the biggest, toughest water buffaloes we've ever taken down with a bow. It's just... What an incredible, incredible species. And I just realized we forgot to mount it, but that's okay. We'll mount him in a little bit. First off, we gotta go over here and track down this super cool, huge, rare albino water buffalo. And we hit him here, he ran back this way. I'd love to try and track this thing. We actually took him as he was charging us. Yeah, I didn't even know these existed, to be quite honest. I did not know that rare albino water buffalo existed out here on Australia in the Hunter Classic. There he is, there he is right there. Look at that. Look at that. He's not super light colored, but you can tell there's something different about him. You really can tell. All right, let's get over here and go take a look at him and take some awesome pictures as well. It should be another one of those probably 180 plus water buffalo. Nice big old male. And if you look at the hooves, you should be able to tell that it's an albino. Can't get the greatest view of him here. So we'll just pick him up right away and take a look. It's not an albino. It's a gray. Well, apparently there's gray water buffalo that are, I don't believe, rare. It just says rarity gray. But maybe that is rare because usually it would say common right here. Nonetheless, a 4.2 yard left lung shot as it was charging us. Let's take a look at this thing. That's got to be a rare. It's got to be, right? I mean, look at that. That thing's awesome. So we shot him as he was coming at us, kind of high down, up into the shoulder and into the chest cavity from there. But there he is. What I'm sure, what I'm pretty sure is a rare gray water buffalo big bull as well look at that wow such a sweet looking buffalo all right i think we'll go with that i don't know you tell me is it a rare i really don't know to be quite honest uh actually this looks a lot better going like this a lot better there we go All right, so potentially we may have two mounter animals down. Oh boy. We got more. So I'm pretty sure we actually found our Rusa deer that we hit from before. And we did. It's going to be a 115.4, not a bad size one. The shot was 185 yards out. 
We're over here looking for two Bantang that we just shot, and I can't find them anywhere, but somehow we ran into this Rusa deer, and I'm kind of shocked, to be quite honest. So let's actually put our, take a look at, that's a decent sized Rusa, real decent size. So we'll go with that for a picture. All right, so we're actually gonna do something once. We're gonna check the leaderboards here and figure out what our water buffalo would have scored like on the leaderboards. So go to water buffalo, 284 is top, and I believe our buffalo scored what, 265? Oh my God, we made it to top 40, are you kidding me? I think we got 265, that would put us at top 33 is what we should have scored. Hold on, let me check. I'm not exactly sure what we checked because it says we didn't even uh, currently place in this category because we've never shot in a water buffalo this year. So if we go into our statistics, then our buffalo is, oh my God, it was actually 267, holy. He was quite bigger than what I actually thought. He really was 267.4. So then if we go back into leaderboards, we'll see what 267.4 puts us at. So 267.4 is gonna put us at, top 32nd place. We're gonna be within the top 30. That is unbelievable. I mean, I knew he was big, but I didn't know he was that big. To be honest, like if you would've told me he was gonna make top 30 on leaderboards, I would've said no way he was that big. But then again, I mean, you saw the picture. Look at him. Look at the size of that thing. In fact, I don't know if I can really show you from this point here, but I can definitely show you from this point right here for sure. How do I make this bigger though? Well, you can see. I mean, look at the size of that thing. Jeez. Well, we're back over here at our trophy lodge here in the Hunter Classic. And what you're looking at right now is, I believe, our biggest water buffalo that we've gotten up until this point. And that thing scored 248.9. That was back in 2019. I don't think I have a bigger one. I mean, we'll check a couple other lodges here. We'll try this one. And if it's not this one, there's one other lodge that it may be in. I just don't remember getting anything bigger than like 250 max. What do we got here? Hold on. Let me turn this off. All right, let's see what we got here. There we go. So that's a 259, 259.1. And that was back in 2018. I'd say that's probably it then. I got one more lodge, but that's probably it. All right, here we go. Our last trophy lodge to check. First off, just admire this massive bull moose. Got him back in 2017, 231 bull moose that we got with the recurve bow. But here he is, 222. Yeah, nowhere even near our biggest one. So that means the one that we got today was our absolute biggest water buffalo of all time. And we're talking within seven years. That is unbelievable. We're swapping out our 220 plus for our biggest water buffalo of all time. And that's him there. 220, 202, 189, 220, 237. 187, 218. So basically 220 plus was pretty big for water buffalo back in the day. But yeah, this 267 here is really something else. And I'm also noticing that the rarity is saying gray versus common. So I would have to say that that should be a rare as well. Um, but let's put our giant 267 water buffalo up there. And oh my God, look at that thing. Look at how good that looks. Holy. I mean, you can definitely tell the size difference in this thing. What an absolutely incredible beast of a bull water buffalo. Wow. Let's switch out this one here. Holy, there he is, guys. Take a look at that. No way. No way. Look at that thing. 
Oh my god, that's so freaking cool. Wow. And he's a nice one too, that's the cool part. So he's almost like a super rare in a sense that he's, you know, 180 plus, which is a nice bull. Wow, that's awesome. Yep, I've never seen one of those before. And I did not know they existed. But now, we have one. And not only do we have one, we also have one of the biggest water buffaloes that is in the game right here. So what a heck of an incredible day that we had today during our hunt. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Wow.